A lot of people are still against automatic campaigns, especially at this time of the year. Uh, we have been seeing them do very well lately, but not all the data is there. I want to show you that it is there if you go deep enough into a campaign and really quickly run through how all you do is export search terms from an auto and bulk upload them to make a manual. And I'm going to do, going to do it in a bulk file, okay, just super quickly, and this shouldn't take more than five minutes. I have, I just named this campaign Q4 Auto. Yes, this is a Q4 product, so that's why the ACOS is doing so well, okay? But I have last seven days up right now. So I have last seven days, and I know I say to never look at last seven days, but I, I wanna show you guys that there is, the data actually is in here. Last seven days, about 20K in sales, under 10% ACOS, right? Pretty good. If I look at this, I open up, Okay, and look at the targets. It's still the same numbers, 20K in sales at 9% ACOS. But this is the trick. Look at search terms. You ready for this? Last seven days, 26K at 8% ACOS. This is how you get the real data. You have to go to search terms in your auto campaigns. You have to open up the search terms tab. Okay, so that's the first huge tip for those of you who love watching daily data, go all the way to this screen. Now, to quickly make a manual, okay, all you do is you export these keywords, okay? So I'm gonna export these keywords, and then you come over here to the bulk operations tab, bulk operations tab, and you download a bulk operations template, all right? Then give me a second, and I'm gonna set this up. Now, all I've done here, this is the bulk op blank op bulk operations template. I deleted the other tabs because I'm only going to be making a sponsored product campaign. Now, this is all I wanted to do. This is the real data, okay? This is the, the real keyword data I just exported. I just made these dummy, dummy entries here. One big thing to remember that I always forget and I just forgot again is when you export that search term data, it only takes the first 50. So go back in, you know, you can make it um, show 300 entries. So change that to 300 and you'll get more than 50, okay? But for this case, we're gonna use 50. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how quickly this is to set up a campaign. I'm gonna call this Q4 manual, okay? That's my campaign. What's my campaign daily budget? Let's give it $100. What is my campaign start date? 12-9-2021, okay? Campaign end date, don't need it. Campaign targeting type, you always need this. You need manual. That is all you need. And then you need status, campaign status enabled. Okay, I'm gonna freeze my panes here, freeze top row. This is the first step you need. You always need this first step. Now, you always need this campaign name in every single entry. Now I'm gonna make my ad group. Think about it. When you're making a, a campaign in Seller Central, it's the same exact steps, okay? Key for a manual, ad group name, I'm gonna call it ad group, ad group status, enabled. Now, I need a max bid for my ad group. This is like the you know default max bid that you can use, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make it 155. But what you can do is you can overwrite that with keyword bids. So I'm gonna come back to my keyword list that all of these things, let's, let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all of these, right? And look at this cost per click, okay? So my cost per click in my auto campaign is whatever this is, right? 30 cents for a lot of these, okay? I'm gonna bid on these in broad match, just, just for the sake of argument right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise these cost per clicks by 20%. So I multiply them by 1.2. Multiply them by 1.2. And then I am going to just change this really quickly, right, to be two decimal places. So now I have all of these bids raised by 20 cents, okay, by 20%, sorry. I come over here. Again, this is just going to be a dummy placeholder. Max bid, boom. Now I need to add the SKU to my ad group. So I do SKU. I'm going to give it whatever my SKU is enabled. Guys, if you have multiple SKUs, just do this. You'll have SKU 1 and then this would be SKU two, and then this would also be enabled. All right, this, minute, this video might be one minute longer, but I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to crank through this here to show you how easy this is. Now, I'm gonna take all of my keywords. I have 50 of them. I'm gonna come over here, 
and keyword or product targeting. I'm doing keywords, right? I always need this. Now I always need an ad group because I'm putting keywords in an ad group, right? Match type. I'm going to do broad match. You can do any any match type you want. This isn't this isn't a, a, a strategy video. This is a video to show you how to, to quickly make a campaign, right? Now, max bid. Okay, now I can do max bid. So I'm going to take all of these bids that I raised by 20% and do that for each of those keywords. Now I've got to make sure that this is two decimal places. Boom. Everything always has to be status enabled. Campaign status, ad group status, status enabled. Okay. I have my keywords. I have them in an ad group. Um, I am going to see if this actually works. All right. Just showing you guys, I uploaded that file. 54 out of 54 rows processed. Obviously, it's, you know, so it even took these, these SKUs, right? They're not going to be active, but you can basically take that. And that's how you really quickly export auto data, raise the bids a bit, and make it into a manual campaign.